You know, a few weeks ago, I ordered one of those mattresses online, the kind where they ship it to you and it's rolled up in this tight little package. Well, this is one of the heavier ones that weighs about 145 pounds, and I mentioned this to my girlfriend. And she's like, how are you going to get this in the house and into the bedroom by yourself? It's a lot of dead weight. Well, I'm like, it's not much different than dragging you into the bedroom after you've been roofied. For those of you who do not know and do not have a sense of humor, that was a joke. I would never roofie my girlfriend. Besides, I don't need to. She's paralyzed. Hello and welcome back to the final episode and the final season of the Max Bloom versus the High Bay LED lights. Let's go pick some peppers. Okay, today is the big day. It is harvest day and you can see the plants here have not changed a whole lot since the last episodes except for the plant in the front here and the plant in the back there have started to recover just a little bit as far as growing new foliage. If you watch the other episodes, you know what I'm talking about. But um, they're all growing peppers pretty well. Plenty of peppers there, plenty in the back, plenty here, plenty on the back plant. That one's tall and heavy and it's falling over. I do have it strung up. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and not waste any more time, pick these and weigh them. And then we're gonna, we're gonna refer back to this freeze frame right here so you know which plant they were picked from. Okay, here is the harvest, and it is arranged just how the plants were. So you have the front plant under the high bay, the rear plant under the high bay, rear plant, max bloom, front plant, max bloom. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and count these, weigh these, and take the averages and come back and talk about it. Okay, so I have picked the peppers, I have counted them, I have weighed them, and I've taken averages. So I'm just gonna read off the results of verbatim here. Uh, under the high bay side, the white LED high bay, the rear plant, grew 55 total peppers, a total of 894 grams, and that was an average of 16.2 grams per pepper. The front plant under that light, the smaller plant, produced 18 peppers uh, that had a total of 311 grams, and that is 17.2 grams per pepper. So uh, about a one gram difference per pepper with the front plant versus the rear plant under the high bay side, and that's kind of predictable because the more fruit a plant produces, usually it's going to be less average weight per individual fruit, uh, simply because there's only so much energy a plant can put into each individual fruit. So the more you have, typically speaking, the less weight you have per uh, fruit. In this case, I don't know, are peppers a fruit? They're a vegetable? I don't, I don't remember. Uh, it doesn't matter. Anyways, under the Max Bloom side, the front plant produced 37 peppers, weighing a total of 653 grams, and that is 17.6 grams per pepper. The rear plant under the Max Bloom side grew 30 peppers, uh, a total of 549 grams uh, for all the peppers, and an average weight of 18.3 grams per pepper. So, uh, the Max Bloom side grew uh, slightly heavier peppers in total on average than the high bay side. And that does kind of speak for itself with the results, but you're only talking about one gram difference. And we're going to get into that in a minute here. But the total number of peppers under the high bay side, the total was 73 peppers, and that was a total of 1,205 grams. That's 16.5 grams per pepper. Under the Max Bloom side, it was 67 total peppers, and this is really interesting. That is a total of 1,202 grams of peppers with 17.9 grams per pepper on average. So looking at those results, you're within a 3-gram difference in total pepper weight between one side versus the other side, the Max Bloom versus the High Bay. And the high bay, even with that smaller plant producing uh, less peppers, it still produced a few more peppers in total than the max bloom side. So if you want to look at it in two different ways, you can say that the average weight under the max bloom per pepper was uh, slightly heavier. Basically almost unnoticeable because one gram is like nothing. And the high bay side produced more peppers uh, even though it was slightly less, less weight on average per pepper, both of the sides produced um, nearly the same amount of peppers, almost exactly the same amount of weight in total, 
with a slight difference in average weight per pepper. Looking at the peppers, um, there really wasn't much noticeable, visible difference. I mean, there really wasn't anything. As a matter of fact, that's what I was going to get into here, is these peppers over here, I took the largest pepper from each plant. This is the rear of the max bloom. This is the front of the max bloom, the rear of the high bay, the front of the high bay. These two peppers here that were grown on the smaller plants on both sides of the tent are almost a mirror image of each other as far as the size goes. Same thing with the peppers that were grown um, on the slightly larger plants. They were slightly larger peppers. These were the oldest peppers on the lowest part of the plant and the biggest ones uh, uh, versus the other ones. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a taste test. So we got the two peppers here from the max bloom, two peppers here from the high bay. These are not supposed to be like really hot. If I remember, they're supposed to be like a, a mild hot. I don't know if it's actually true or not, but we're going to find out. So let's go ahead and take a bite of the front plant under the Max Bloom pepper. I'm just going to bite the bottoms first like I've done in a previous video. Oh. Instantaneously hot. Ugh. Okay. I was not expecting it to be hot on the bottom part of the pepper. All right. Before I uh, take a break here, let's take a bite out of the rear one under the Max Bloom. That one's a little bit sweeter. Not quite as hot. <clears throat> I'm going to take a quick break here so that I can get a proper test for the other side. Let my mouth cool off. Okay, I am back. I am mostly cooled off, and we're going to dive right back into this. I'm going to start with the pepper that was grown from the front plant under the high bay. Here we go. Oh, <clears throat> that one tastes kind of bitter. Only just like a little bit of spice up near the seeds. Now we're going to do the last pepper. I have a feeling it's going to be just like this pepper was. So let's get right into it. As you can tell, I'm not that excited about this anymore. Not the same bite. Um, it's not quite as hot as the one or the, this first one I tasted, the Max Bloom one. It's definitely hot though. <sighs> not comfortable at all. This is, <laughs> this is not comfortable. It's hot and it's, it actually has the same bitter taste as the one under the, the other one under the high bay. <sighs> okay. I'm going to take another break here real quick, and then we can finish this video. Okay, I am back, and I am all cooled down. Uh, that was not very fun. Uh, I can usually tolerate some uh, spiciness, and I do like spicy food, but I wasn't expecting that, so it kind of took me by surprise. Um, anyways, I take back what I said about the peppers. The taste is no different, and the spiciness is no different. The two largest peppers from both sides, the Max Bloom and the High Bay, they're both equally as hot, believe me. And the two smaller peppers from the High Bay and the Max Bloom side, uh, they were equally not as hot. As far as the bitterness that I said uh, when I tasted the High Bay side, the only reason it tasted bitter is because I actually tasted, I actually um, ate a little bit of ice cream in between. So... That's the reason why I had a bitter taste. I went back and I tasted the uh, Max Bloom one, and it's had the same bitter taste. So they all taste the same. The spiciness is the same. So that category, no difference whatsoever. Uh, as far as what I think the winner is, 
Uh, I'm going to leave that up to you guys. I don't really want to insert my opinion into this. You have the numbers. The only thing I can do is really comment on uh, what we saw here in the test. So in total, the total amount of weight in peppers under the max bloom and the high bay was almost exactly the same down to the gram, a few grams difference, and that's it. That's pretty, pretty interesting. Um, the total amount of peppers was almost the same too. It was very, very close as far as the total quantity, although the high bay did produce more, just a few more. Uh, average weight per pepper, that's kind of where I would just leave it up to you guys to figure out what, what you want to do with that information. You're only talking about a couple of grams difference, and you know if you're growing a plant and you don't prune it and you don't take off the older peppers and it starts to produce a lot of new peppers, um, and they, there's like a bunch of them, and they're going to all start growing, but they're not going to all grow very large. So, you know, I picked quite a bit of uh, maybe smaller peppers, and that's going to add to the average. Um, still, though, looking at the numbers, it was pretty clear that there was slightly more uh, weight per pepper under the max bloom side. So in that category, you could probably say the max bloom won, but visibly looking at the peppers, you can't really tell any difference. Um, you can't really tell a few grams difference looking at a pepper. That could be water weight uh, or it could be plant weight, plant matter. Uh, the only way to know that for sure is to basically just dry them up, freeze dry them, and then weigh them that way. But quite honestly, that's getting into way too much science. Um, I am the kind of person who just likes to see a pretty straightforward result without getting into the nitty gritty because I am not a commercial grower. I don't grow you know, millions of plants and try to grow a crop and make money off it. This is a hobby and we're just trying to make it kind of just cut and dry and make it simplistic. So which side did better? Well, if we look at the high bay side, the large plant on the high bay side uh, produced a lot of peppers and that actually is what made up for the, the small plant that had the problem in the front. If the, pr the plant in the front on the high bay side actually grew normally and didn't have its weird issue, um, we probably would have saw a dramatic difference between, as far as the weight and quantity goes, between uh, one side versus the other, the max bloom versus the high bay. So anyways, I'm going to start talking about that. Um, you know, there's some opinion in there, and there's also some facts you can decipher between that. I'm going to introduce the next grow, which is going to be a new season with new grow lights here. And I got them right here on the floor. The first contender here is the Sansi light, and this light here, um, I, it's either it's either 3500K or 4000K. I'm not really sure at offhand, uh, but anyways, it's a single color temperature LED. They're not mixed. There's not uh, warm white or cool white. It's just one color temperature. The other light here is the Hidden Harvest Grow Lights. This is a mixed color temperature with um, uh, a very cool white and a very warm white mix of LEDs. So we're going to compare these two in the next season, which will be in 2020, 2020, and uh, we're going to see how they perform. We're only going to be growing one pepper plant under each light because these simply are too small and too weak to be growing more than one plant each. Um, uh, it's also a pretty good test because both of these lights, the Sansi and the Sit and Harvest Grow Light, are the same efficiency, uh, right around one micromole per watt, or actually just a little bit under, I think. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope that was helpful, and we will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.